Hi, it's Nat at Black Cat Crafts. Um, finally, I've been able to sit down and do a video. This is my first one of 2023. Um, hopefully I can get a few more done as well. Um, taking advantage of a quiet house at the minute. <laughs> There's no dogs barking. My son's still in bed and the other two are at school. So let's get going before I start barking. So um, we're going to be making a little Valentine's treat holder and um, it's got one of those little lollies in there. Um, I had all the Valentine stuff out in Aldi so I had these little packs of strawberry lollies. They're actually quite nice. <laughs> so we're going to be making one of those, okay? So first we will need a piece of polished pink cardstock. This measures two and a quarter by nine. Grab your scoreboard and along the nine inch side, score at two and a half, four and a quarter, and six and a half. That's all you're scoring done. Grab your bone folder, give those a good crease. So, so basically, you've got your little piece at the bottom, for your triangle, and then we're just going to stick this on top. So, there's your bottom piece there. That's going to go down at a little angle, and that's going to come up for your little triangle. Now, on this piece here, we're going to need a little hole for our lolly to go through. I think that's not too dark actually, it's quite a bright morning. So we're going to pop a little hole in the centre. I'm just going to do two because that lollipop sticks a little bit bigger. So then that will come down, that will fold up. So you've got your little triangle. Grab your lolly, pop that through there. And that's going to come down and we're going to stick that. So grab your glue. Pop some glue on there. We're going to stick that. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. <laughs> I think I better get something to eat in a minute. Oh dear, that sounded angry. Oh, I'm angry. Like that. Then this really lovely um, DSP. Um, I'm going to be using a piece of this. This is the Dainty Flowers. Um, it's 12 by 12. I love a bit 12 by 12. can do loads of with one sheet. Um, and you can get this with a purchase of £45 or more and you can get a pack for free. Um, so come shop with me and get some free paper. It's just awesome. So we are using, I'm going to be using a, a bit of this pink one. And you've got these really lovely flowers on the back. I've done loads with this paper. It's fabulous. So this piece of DSP measures two and one eighth by two and three eighths. So we're going to stick that on the front. Grab your wet glue. And we're going to pop that just on the front there. <laughs> If you can get it straight. Oh, it has been a while since I've done a Facebook live, a uh, uh, YouTube video. I've, I'm do, actually doing another Facebook live. I've only done one. I'm going to attempt another one on Thursday. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's all trial and error. The more you do, the better you get at it. So there's your DSP. So on here, um, we've got three circles. So these I've cut out from the layering circles dies. We've got a piece of polished pink. This is the scalloped edge one. This measures two inches. Then I've got a piece of uh, basic white. This circle is one and three eighths. And then another piece of polished pink. Um, this is one and one eighth. So with the polished pink, we're going to do some stamping. I am using the Cup of Tea stamp set. Again, this is fabulous. Um, this little Enjoy 
stamp. So we're going to be doing some embossing. So grab your embossing buddy. Grab your Versamark ink. And we're going to do a little enjoy just on our pink there. I am using wet embossing powder. Ooh. That's why I've got a container because I get it everywhere. <laughs> so get your little enjoy embossed. that out of the way. I don't want the bossing powder going all over the place. Okay. As it's so tiny, I'm just going to be using a pair of tweezers. Going to get your heat tool. going to do. Oh, I've still got embossing powder all over the place. Oh, so messy. I'm so messy. Right, so this one's going to go down first. Then we've got the white, so we're going to pop the white up on some dimensionals. Oh, my tummy. I really hope you can't hear my stomach. It's really rumbly. <laughs> So we're going to pop that in the centre of our pink, like so. Pop your pink up on some dimensionals. Pop those off. And I've just got some linen thread. Now, I think there's about three pieces that are all sort of twined together. I've just unraveled a piece and I've got a thinner piece. So I'm just going to pop just a little bit underneath that pink. Like so. I don't want that much. I'll get rid of that. So that's going to sit. On top of there. So you've got your three layered. Like that. Now I've cut out. This is from. The, oh, this is from the Queen Bee dies. Um absolutely fabulous dies. I've been using these an awful lot. I think it's just a fabulous set and this bee is so pretty when you emboss it as well. It's really lovely. Um, so I'm using a little, there's a tiny little leaf there. Um, I'm going to be using that die. Um, again, if you, I mean, if, if you buy this bundle, I mean, it's 46 75 you can get the papers for free. It's just, it's brilliant. And this is such a fabulous set. It really is lovely. So I've cut out two polished pink and two fresh freesia. And we're just going to stick those on just around the side. Uh, we're going to start with a pink. So I'm just gluing just the bottom piece there. And I'm just going to stick it a bit of an angle, just around the side, try not to put too much glue on, stick 
you already. Just so it's going around the side of your circles. Just so they're sort of layered on top of each other there. Like that. <clears throat> so my son's 23rd birthday today. I actually can't believe he's 23. Why do they get so big so quick? I don't like it. Like that. Okay. So then with that, we're going to pop some glue on the back of the circle. And we're going to pop that on the front of our lollipop holder. So I'm doing a... Um, a little craft group on Sunday and we're making a little a little box and I've made everybody a little lolly <laughs> they can take home for Valentine's Day so there's your little bit of decoration on the front now I'm gonna have to use this piece here because I've run out of polished pink um, ribbon. So this ribbon um, against polished pink and it's the open weave ribbon. And what I've done is I've just, yeah, she said if she can get it on the bloody stick. There we go. Okay, right, there we go. Yes, I've run out of ribbon, but we've, I've made a little bow on the front there. And then I've got a piece of metallic woven ribbon. Um, this is the sweet sorbet. And then I've just popped a little bit just on the top. And I'm just going to knot that. And I'm just going to cut that off. So it's just a little bit of extra bling on the top there. Now to finish it off. I've just got my wink of Stella. Uh, again, I love this stuff. I've to order some more. And I'm just going to flick a little bit of wink of Stella just all over our front little piece there. Just to make it a little bit glittery. And there's your little treat holder. Um, it is quite simple. It's quite cute. It looks... I think it looks really lovely. It's gonna, they're going to look lovely set on the table one Sunday. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, fingers crossed they will be back soon. I'm hoping to do a few Easter bits and bobs. Um, yeah, so bear with me and um, it's nice to be back. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs>